Well, if you're looking for something fun to do outside, one of the biggest alpaca events is happening today. More than 300 alpacas competing at the Caba Classic and Alpaca Western Extravaganza Dual Show. And the best part, it's free. Core Harlan is live exploring the Yamhill County Fairgrounds this morning with a sneak peek of all the furry fun. Hey, Cor. Hey, good morning, Emily, from out here at the Yamhill uh, County Fairgrounds in McMinnville this morning. The judging is about to begin for the alpacas, the alpaca show out here. They got a nice outdoor ring out here. The first of them are about to go into the ring. Angela Rogers from Cedar Creek Alpaca Farm up in uh, Cook, Washington, is here with us this morning. It's a nice, neat, uh, fun, consumer-friendly thing to go to, I suspect. Yes, it is. It's, it's um, an awesome event that we do every year. Let's br let's break down one of these ads because I just got my eyes on this guy. This guy is just awesome. He's he's is this guy? I don't even know your name, but you're from Vancouver. What's I'm your Greg name? Glasscock. Greg from G Tribal Packers. Is this guy tall or big for his size or? He's, he's about average. He's yeah. uh, got a little bit to grow, but he's he's gonna start breeding this year. Um, Super what I what I love yeah. to do to these guys, and you showing me how, just put your hand, look at the fur ball this guy is. Can you imagine having that in a sweater? I can't. Oh, it's much, the best, right? yeah. Nothing but. Soft. And when the judges go through here and check him out, what will they be looking for? Uh, they're looking for fineness, consistency, uh, looking for length, looking for crimp, amplitude. Uh, there's a lot of different things, but they'll also be looking for the whole animal confirmation. Um, are these animals sturdy, strong, and going to be robust for the next genetics? I, uh, I suspect the judges will like what they see here, but in the some far stretch of the imagination, they don't like what they see. I'll take all of the fur. <laughs> have right. her make a sweater out of it for me. You're from Vancouver, too? Vancouver, Washington, and yeah. You guys, uh, you guys market in uh, in uh, fiber and, and all the rest of it? We, we do fiber. We have a, a store, Rusty Glamour, in Battleground um, that we sell stuff from. Uh, so we do both the fleece as well as the animals. Well, these are just gorgeous animals. They're sweet as peaches, most of them. A little, a little skittish. That's a good looking animal right there. And man, I just, you can't get enough of sticking your hand in that fur ball right there and just coming right back out. It's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Good luck. Good luck. Appreciate the first it. ones to go into the ring. Carl, kind of look the way down here because uh, folks are here from as far away as uh, Arizona, Montana, and Idaho. They brought all this. And this is a pretty, uh, Angela, a, as, as alpaca shows go, this is a pretty big alpaca show, is it not? Yes, it is. Over 360 alpaca is going to be shown this weekend. And when people come here, I mean, I'm, I'm about as Joe Average of a consumer as you get. Do they, what do they come here for? Well, they come here to see the alpacas, of course. Um, we also have a marketplace where there are vendors, so they can um, go over and see the things that are made with alpaca as well. So Scarves, sweaters, sweaters gloves, gloves uh, yarn, all kinds of things. And, and uh, the yarning of this and knitting these into, that's a big thing around her. I think a lot of people don't appreciate how many people are into knitting and yarn and all the rest of that stuff. That's right. It is, um, it's, it's a, an art that's actually becoming very popular right now. Crocheting, macrame, and all, all the rest Crocheting, of that stuff here. Knitting and weaving. Yeah. Knitting and weaving. All right, 15 seconds left. The alpacas are first round of them. We're about to go into the ring here. This is uh, today. This is starting right out today, tomorrow. They'll probably be here a little bit on Sunday, although the show is officially today and tomorrow. Yamhill County Fairgrounds in McMinnville. Come on out here and uh, pet yourself an alpaca this morning. It'll make you feel better from the uh, uh, Yamhill County Fairgrounds this morning as they get ready to head into the ring. It's a neat, neat show out here and a lot of really cool animals, over 300 animals from the several states I mentioned here. Be a neat thing to take in this weekend. That is very cool. Looks like a lot of fun. And the alpacas are so cute. Thanks, Core.